Some people come to me and ask, what is business interruption? And how does insurance for business interruption work? In short, business interruption is anytime something happens that causes a delay or a closure of your business, even if it's temporary. Unfortunately, here in New Orleans, we all experienced the collapse of the Hard Rock Hotel. And we saw that that caused many businesses to close down over a period of time. It's possible to actually get insurance for this to make sure that if something happens to you and your business has to be closed or otherwise can't do business for a period of time, you have insurance to help cover that loss. Business interruption insurance is different than property insurance. Sometimes you can get it as part of your property insurance, but it's usually an add-on or it's usually something you need to speak to your agent about directly. It's not something that's normally just going to come with a standard property insurance policy. Once you have a loss and your business is closed for a period of time, business interruption becomes something that's confusing to business owners. They can't figure out how to calculate what they're entitled to. And that makes sense because it's hard to figure out what business you're not getting. It's very easy to figure out what business you are getting. When you're bringing a business interruption claim, it's really important that you have someone on your side that understands business interruption insurance. There might be public adjusters that do some of this work, but by and large, what you're going to want to look for is an attorney that has experience in insurance loss and also has relationships with CPAs or other financial experts that can help calculate what your loss would be. We can calculate this in a few ways. We can look at your average sales over a period of time and then figure out what you lost, but sometimes that's not good enough. Let's say that your business closes down over Mardi Gras in New Orleans, and normally that's your busiest time of year. Well, we might need to look to historical data for how similar businesses do during Mardi Gras. We may need to look at how your competitors did during Mardi Gras. This is something that isn't easy to do without a qualified team on your side. But business interruption insurance is important because it's what keeps your business alive. Something like a prolonged closure can be a death nail for your business. It can literally put you out forever because while your business is closed, the bills keep coming in. Some of your employees expect to be paid if they're on salary. Your landlord likely expects to be paid. And meanwhile, all your other services and vendors likely still expect to be paid. You don't save very much money when your business is closed as a result of business interruption. This is why it's important to calculate exactly how much money you're not making and make sure that your insurance company makes you whole if you purchase business interruption insurance. If you're suffering a temporary or even longer closure of your business through no fault of your own that may be covered by business interruption insurance, you really should call an experienced team to figure that out.